Hey guys, so I recently upgraded my wedding kit and I've been really happy with the results over the last couple of weddings I've used it with and since I'm packing for a wedding in Melbourne this weekend, I thought I'd quickly go through all my camera bodies and my lenses and explain to you what gear I use on the actual day and why I use it. So on a wedding day, I use three cameras and it's best to keep them as close to the same make and model as possible. That way when you're cutting between the different angles, they match as best they can. So I have three Canon 1D bodies. Um, the one filming me right now, which is the Canon 1DX Mark II. And then I also have these two bad boys right here. I have two Canon 1DC bodies. So I picked these up secondhand pretty cheaply, um, and then I got the 1DX Mark II new. But you can actually find these for a reasonable price. And the thing I love about these the most for a wedding day is they don't have a record limit. So I set these up as my speech angles or my vow angles for the ceremony, and they just roll the entire time. And I don't have to worry about it besides, you know, framing and that kind of thing. But yeah, that's what I love about these cameras the most. And I also love that they record 4K to CF cards because you can get CF cards pretty cheaply now. You know, you can pick up these Lexar cards for not too much anymore, which is awesome. So they're the three camera bodies that I have and I shoot on faith, a faithful profile picture. I can make a video about another time. But that's it for the bodies. So now we move into the lenses and during the ceremony, like I said, those two are the main two angles on the bride and on the groom. So the two lenses I use for that are these two 70 to 200 millimeter lenses. So this one is the f2.8 IS and this one's normally the bright angle just because you can go to f2.8 and get that nice out of focus area. Um, and then this one I picked up really cheaply just as my second angle because it's on a tripod You don't really need IS you can find an f4 non IS lens very cheaply on like Gumtree or Craigslist or whatever And I definitely recommend it. It's very helpful just for that second angle like I was saying So moving down in focal lengths My next lens that I use often and this is one of my favorite lenses on the wedding day is a hundred mil macro lens f2.8 L so what's awesome about this lens is I'll use it in the morning for bride details, so like earrings, jewelry, all of that kind of thing. But then I also use it on the photo shoot and it's a very nice lens to use for the couple like hugging and all of that kind of thing. So that's what I love the most about this lens. It's very versatile and it's very sharp. I'll also use it in the ceremony and the reception for the camera I'm actually using, like getting reactions. Another key thing that I love about this lens is when I use it on the photo shoot, it weighs the same as my main glide cam lens. So I can just quickly swap between them and I can get some really awesome parallax depth of field kind of stuff on the glide cam with this lens and because of the IS it makes it pretty easy to do, especially with the face tracking of the 1DX Mark II. I have a Sigma 85mm 1.4. So this is my favourite lens to use in the morning for preparations. So this will be attached to one of my camera bodies in the morning that I just grab out of my bags and yeah it's probably my go to lens and what I use for all of the preparations essentially besides those detail shots. Moving down even further in focal length, I have a 35mm f1.4 art series Sigma lens which is filming me right now and this lens will also live on one of my camera bodies which I pull out straight away for the preparations. This normally lives on the 1DX Mark II just because when I'm doing like the wider detail shots, you know, the touch to focus on the 1D and the push in and push out kind of thing, it works very, very nice for that and I absolutely love it for that. I will also use it for photo shoot on the glide cam and I'll swap between that and the 100mm and then I'll also use it for, you know, the first dance as well and a couple of dancing shots too. My last lens that I take on a wedding day is this Tekina 16 to 28 millimeter lens. So this is f2.8 and you can get these pretty cheap as well, which is awesome. It's very good for the price. So what I love about this lens is being able to zoom. So I live on primes in the morning, but then when you pull this out for the specialty dress shot or the specialty, you know, reception detail or the glide cam out of the church, it's very, very awesome and it 
just brings that wow factor in and helps to sell the grandness of the wedding. So as they exit the church, once they exit and everyone starts like congratulating, I'll zoom in really quickly to 28 mil and get some nice kind of more intimate hugging and that kind of thing. So it gives me like those two focal lengths that I'll actually use, which is good. So that's pretty well all the lenses and bodies that I'll use on a wedding day. And I definitely use them all. Um, there's not one lens or one bit of gear in my bag that I don't use and I'm really happy with the wedding kit I've perfected for my style and what I like. And I just thought I'd share that with you guys and maybe that will help inform you what you want to buy for your own kit. And yeah, if you have any questions, um, just ask me in the comment section, but I'll probably make a video about my picture profile and if you want like what tripods and stuff I use. So yeah.